Hello, this is Wayne Barboza. Today's date is 8-19-2015. It's 9.41 a.m. And I'm the webmaster of deepbirdian.net and also the elder of the Barboza tribe. Uh, anybody with a computer or cell phone can Google and find out about me or uh, the tribe. Um, this message here is to Cape Verdean people and African Americans who are facing uh, uh, a deadline of 10, 10, 15, in which uh, millions of people of our color and um, poor people, Indians, uh, Native Americans, and African Americans, Latinos, plan on going to the Million Man March on 10, 10, 15 for justice or else. I know this is quite possible, uh, the coming of a race war. And uh, I want my people that know me, that know about what Party Wings Project is, that we already have ran, um, land that I'm willing to fight and die for. And so I'm asking everybody out there that's Cape Verdean to at least spend a few minutes to see what's coming up between now in October um, 10th, uh, because that's the last resort. We have land, and we need to develop it. And I want to tell you how we got the land way back in 2000, 2001. Uh, the Cape Verdean government was invited up to Plymouth, Mass, to the land where four black patriots from the Revolutionary Army uh, were buried. We found the grave. Of We've been taking care of it ever since. Um, Eddie Johnson, who's the president of Pardon Ways, just realized that after all the work we've done, and he's been working on it for 40 years, I've been working on it for 14 years, uh, we can't go uh, any further. Uh, we contacted and got sponsors and supported, uh, spiritually anyway, but not a dime, or no money from any of them. That's the Department of Interior. That's the uh, you know National Park Service, uh, the Congressional Black Caucus of uh, Veterans Brain Trust, um, people like uh, um, the, the Christmas Addicts family have come and spoke. In fact, uh, we brought Benny DiMasito, who was just a representative from Plymouth and Kingston, where the land is actually located on board, uh, invited him to a speech, which the ambassador of Cape Verde was there, and uh, Tony uh, Cabral, and uh, uh, Ward Ford, uh, uh, Counselor, uh, and um, Mr. Ford's, uh, all were there um, when I gave the dollar bill speech and let them know that something's coming down the line. If we don't prepare for it, our people will die. And I mean die of hunger, starvation. Um, not that they're not starving now, because people in America are not eating the food that's conducive to their health, physically or spiritually. We need the seed, the food, uh, the air, the water, the salts, the tamarind that grows there, the um, special uh, foods that come from Africa and you know, all over the world. But they grow in the Ten Islands of Cabo Verde off the coast of West Africa. Uh, the salt is the purest salt in the world, and it's very good for uh, what's in it. It actually cleans out uh, radiation, thyroid cancer can develop from radiation, and people that are awake and aware know that the chemtrails are killing us. Um, they don't understand how it's killing us, and if they don't know what chem chemtrails are now, it's because they've been too busy pursuing the dollar and not God. God is uh, guiding this whole project and it's big time it's big big time uh, this is not a conspiracy uh, anybody can contact me and you can uh, my number is 401-359-3370 and um, we're looking for people who got the courage to do something you know, I don't want to hear comments so I'm not interested in ideas or anything like that we already have the, the aquaponic system so we can grow food in or outdoors without soil in our own homes. We already know about um, uh, free energy. Um, we know about uh, uh, the 
the common race war. We know all these things, but nobody's doing anything about it. So I've taken it as the uh, member of the Cape Verdean uh, tribe in North America, uh, Barboza tribe. Uh, I got 13 children, and they got children, and their children have children. So that in itself uh, leaves me with about 100 people that I'm going to have to feed when this so-called conspiracy goes down. If you don't believe that you'll be uh, no food stamps, no jobs, no money, uh, the power might go out. And uh, it only takes three days without water and you're done. 30 days at the most, uh, uh, maybe one or two percent of the people can go without food. if They're used to fasting. But if they're not, they'll be driving each other uh, crazy within a week and cutting each other's throats. Uh, this is all a planned idea to get rid of uh, formerly the best workers America ever had. Uh, we built this country and the Native Americans such as the Wapanog, Narragansett, Pequot, uh, all these Indians that were around when the uh, Europeans came and settled here and uh, all the way up until the 20th and 21st century uh, we should have something but we don't and it's simply because uh, they knew what we didn't know. Uh, they got rid of all the shamans and the wise men of Africa a long time ago. So we didn't know our culture. We cut off completely from our culture, our food, our land, our ways, our music, everything, our heritage. We were cut off. But the Cape Verdean Americans up until 1975, which weren't considered black, they were considered Portuguese, were able to hang on to the food, the culture, the music, the whole bit. So we never lost, and we were never enslaved. We never lost this knowledge, this wisdom that African Americans have been searching and researching for, trying to find their roots. Now, I understand uh, because we're not full black and we're not full white that uh, we're rejected on both sides. In fact, I've been told all these years people won't follow. Uh, my advice is simply because um, Cape Verdeans think they know it all. Uh, they've been getting a choice everything because uh, white people will accept a mixed breed before they'll accept a black. And black people will accept a mixed breed before they'll accept a white. Uh, now we got to stop the racism stuff because uh, with all the children I have, guarantee you, I have every child. Uh, of every color, every shade, nationality. So I'm not a racist. And I want you to understand, not only am I not a racist, but I love the human race. Uh, we have to get over the idea of divided races, that black and white are different. It's a human family. And I say we have to because I know what's coming. Uh, when you're sitting there with no electricity, no food in the house, your children crying hungry, and there's a bunch of thugs and thieves roaming around trying to take what you do have. If you're not united as a family or as, as a community, if you don't get your stuff together where you, you know, you, you forget about your differences. Yes, they may have pissed you off and got you mad and divided. You haven't spoke to the person in years and so forth. But the true nature is that we're family and we won't survive without that unity. So, <clears throat> you know and I know, we must pick a day where everybody will atone. In other words, we'll come together like a family reunion. Not just family, but friends. And their friends. We have to come together, overlook all our differences, and learn to love each other again. Now, I'm picking uh, November 30th, uh, and I'm asking everybody to contact me if they want to be a part of this, because we already know how to survive. We already made the connections. We just need the support and the numbers. You have to stop being cowards. You know? Oh, what are people going to think about me? Oh, I don't want people to get blame me. Uh, well, you, listen, it's time to stand up as a man or a woman when your children are dying in the street. When you know they can't find jobs, there are none. 
So, to make the long story short, to keep our uh, um, survival rate going and to, our children don't have to suffer like we did, we have to break that silence barrier, that inapt, uh, impotent, uh, I know what I'm doing, I don't need nobody attitude. I, uh, I just ran into somebody just recently, had a great idea, but was so, uh, got a few negative remarks and was giving up the, his idea. Uh, so we're going to come together. Uh, like I said, I want to try to make it for November. That's a tentative date, uh, November, uh, because it will be after all the craziness. But in the meantime, we can do something with the people who do wake up and join on to a community uh, of family and friends that can start preparing and fighting for that land to be developed so that we have a place to go when everything shuts down. Okay, so for those of you who don't believe anything's going to happen, ignore me. I mean, after all, I got nothing to lose. You just didn't support me. No matter all the accomplishments that I've made in the past 50, 60 years for our people. And those Cape Verdeans from the islands who have actually still speak Portuguese. They still uh, going towards the European ways. And they forgot about the uh, African Americans uh, that are here and the Cape Verdeans that are here that could possibly help the islands develop. Um, you know, and they, they, let's face it, it was white. European. It didn't become African American until 75. Thanks. Uh, the most honorable Cabral. I'm a car of Cabral. Uh, fought for us. Uh, Cuba fought for us. Angola knows and We call the stuff is history that the older people know. And we better go to the older people to find out what your roots are. So if you're African, African American and you think you got it going all on and you don't know what a Cape Verdean is, you don't know nothing. And I believe Google, YouTube, Facebook uh, block you from learning who we are and who we represent. Now, uh, trust me, if you just contact me, don't be afraid to call me. I ain't going to bite you. <laughs> but you better have a plan. It's coming down the line. So from September to October, try to stay indoors because what's coming out of the skies and what's going in the water and what's being in your food will dumb you down to the point you won't even know someone's pointing a gun to your head. You won't even understand or would have a place to turn. As you know, things aren't getting fast, uh, better and they're not uh, changing slower. They're getting to the point where it's unbelievable. So with love and with trust, we can build on that trust. And those who got ideas can share them. I don't want to be the leader. I'm not the smart. I got an eighth grade education. But I do know the government because I was dealing with them guiding missiles when I was 18 years old in the U.S. Army. I sued the United States Army and won. That's why after 50 some odd years, I'm still fighting for my uh, benefits as a veteran. Uh, they know that if I win uh, my benefits, I have enough money to do this with no help. All right, so uh, keep supporting us and sharing. And if you don't share, uh, I don't want to hear it. Don't come back to us uh, when the time gets rough and say, I didn't have no money. Or, you could share this information. If everybody was to send out this information to their friends and their friend's friend, some lives could be saved. Now, I'm not going to warn you no more. This is it. I got to get busy. I'm asking the Cape Verdean government and the United States government to recognize parting ways because we found out that they're male and when we write to governors and senators and stuff, they're not getting their messages. They deleting the emails and phone calls are not being returned. So this is war. Thank you. Obrigado. And go to www.capeverdean.net. Thank you.